Uh, my name is Lady Diane Tarandang and I'm with Miss uh, Bernadette Galera po as my partner. Po. So uh, the case study that we have is uh, the manufacturing supply chain logistics and inventory control. So for the introduction, inventory control is the implementation of management's inventory policies in a manner that assures that the goals of inventory management are met. So wise control of inventory is often a critical factor in the success of the businesses in which inventories are significant. So the goal of the inventory control is to be sure that optimum levels of inventories are available so that there are minimal stack outs and that inventory is maintained in a safe, secure place and is always readily accessible to the young proper personal. So this case study will talk about a specialty chemical company with worldwide operations serving the electronics, surface finishing, and decorative industries. So uh, yung case study po na ito, uh, it talks about the uh, DPA or the Daniel Penn Associates uh, na kung saan uh, this company has four manufacturing site, uh, six R&D facilities, sales and distribution centers and uh, this company has 1300 people or employee all right so um in their efforts to reduce finished goods inventories and expenses while improving a customer service so the company wanted to determine how they could reduce the number of warehouse facilities and service their customer space from fewer locations in North America. So at the time, products were manufactured from four facilities and distributed through 22 distribution centers, of which 16 were public warehouses and six were company-owned. So uh, the issue is actually included already on the introduction. All right, so ito na po siya. So the issue is um, a DPA is committed on the goal of improving its supply chain logistics and inventory control system and reducing finished goods inventories and expenses without sacrificing customer service satisfaction. So the company wanted to determine the possibility of reducing the number of warehouse facilities and service their customer space from fewer locations in North America. All right, so what are the alternative courses of action that I have included? So I actually have three here. So the first one is the cost reduction. So for the cost reduction, I have already included the advantages and disadvantages. So uh, it says that it is a systematic and corrective technique used by most of the firms to cut the inessential expenses of the goods manufactured and increase the overall profits. So in this process, the essential product are kept intact and is limited to the constant savings in the cost of production, administration, selling, and distribution. So the basic purpose of this uh, reduction or the, the cost reduction is, of course, to lower down the cost and uh, occurring at the time of production, storing, selling, etc. The next one is the benchmarking. So we already know what is benchmarking. So it is actually the process where you measure the company's success against uh, similar companies to discover if there are improvements that can be closed by performance. So this benchmarking uncovers the improvement, the opportunities, identify and eliminate inefficiencies by scrutinizing warehouse activities, identify industry trends, identify position, etc. And for the next one is the freight management. So for the freight management, it is actually the movement of uh, the product from uh, the company or from the, the warehouse going to the distribution center. So it refers to the entire process of organizing inbound and outbound goods for transport. So it does this by coordinating the processes between all the parties, carriers, distributors, the vendors, and other shippers. So the goal is simple. 
to get the cargo to its destination safely and uh, securely as soon as possible. All right, so for the recommendation, so the best recommendation for the problem is the cost reduction. Kasi po for uh, the, cost, uh, the, the, the two options that I have included, so parang kasama na rin po siya if we're going to, to have or implement this cost reduction. So it says that the cost reduction results in the increase in savings of the company, um, in, increase the profit margins, so the, uh, the company may pass such savings to the customers as the decrease in the product prices or more quantity in the given So the decrease in the overall pricing would be to the increase in demand for the product and instead of shutting down uh, the company's facility. So the company must at least try to cut down some of their operating expenses and even sort some ways on how to make their company achieve its full potential on the quality and production improvement. So, you know, po, uh, instead of cut, um, shutting down a company, so kesa naman ma, uh, magtagkal sila or mag-close po sila ng, ng isa nilang warehouse, uh, bakit hindi na lamang sila magkaroon ng cost reduction? And for the conclusion, uh, bringing down the operational cost at a warehouse is not as tedious as it sounds. So with proper planning and analysis of storage needs, cost-saving measures can be deployed and this can help management reduce costs in the long run. And that's all, thank you.